Hi folks, I'm in the gallery of our new store in Wares Valley. It's a big expansive building that is uh, full of our pots. It's the same inventory that we have at our Glades Road location in Gatlinburg, but we have opened this to give the people on this end of the county access to our, our pots in an easier amount of time. You don't have to drive for so long. Before we get into the pottery class, we want to first speak a little bit about Robert A. Lewine. Mr. A. Lewine has been making pottery since 1973, which is quite a while. Robert states he started making pots because he wanted art to be a central aspect of his life. Growing up around artists who paint, he at first believed painting was the only path to choose. After high school, Robert had his first chance to make a pot and then just fell in love with it. He's been chasing this dream since that day and Alewine Pottery is the manifestation of that dream. Mr. Alewine credits his distinguished work today to the tutelage he received from many artists along the way. He credits Lewis Schneider, an artist and potter from Middle Tennessee, for providing him with such a good foundation to make quality pottery. Lewis taught Robert the fundamentals of color, form, balance, and craftsmanship. Over the years, he continued to study with other potters to hone his craft. People like Charles Kuntz and his first teacher, Bob Monroe. Robert credits these craftsmen for influencing his technique and pottery to this day. Over 35 years ago, Robert had the opportunity to throw production for a potter. It was during this vocation, and as a result of his training, he found he had the knack for making a lot of pots in a quick clip. Soon after, Alewan Pottery was born. Now visitors to the Smokies get the privilege of bringing home a one-of-a-kind, genuine Alewine piece. One of the goals at Alewine is for those who buy their creations to think of the mountains when they return home with them. Through color schemes, carvings, and impressions, Alewine brings the mountains to life through their pottery. My daughter Lynn and I were there and I, I got her and I said, you know, we need to figure out a way to incorporate leaves into our pots. And that's where our leaf motif came from. And we've been doing leaves ever since. And it's, it has become Alewine pottery is a maple leaf on the pot. Robert's love of the trade and entrepreneurial spirit has rubbed off on his family, as many of them now help to create pottery works of art in their gallery. As previously stated, we are at the newest Alewine location in Wares Valley, where they offer pottery classes for locals and tourists alike. Their pottery classes can be taken privately or in groups and can accommodate any skill level from beginners to more advanced potters. If you want to take a class while on vacation, simply call ahead and schedule. And now we're going to head on in and get started with the pottery class. Can we do that? And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about first. Back in the 80s and 90s, we had a, a group of teachers that I pulled out of the craft community. Mm -hmm and First National Bank bankrolled the whole deal. Wow. And they ended up doing um, an even numbered grade event for every grade through the 12th grade, but we were teaching the fourth graders how to weave. They had somebody else for second and sixth and on up. And they did different things. You don't want to trap any air bubbles in the clay. So you want to work on a pat in the corner stand and you're trying to make a round ball. And stick it right down in the middle, but since your thumb isn't round, you're gonna to have to turn it around and stick it in several times so that you end up with a round hole when you get through. Mm -hmm. Clay has a memory. The molecules remember what you did to them. Like this? Yeah. That's very good. The base for this thing can be any shape you want it to be. It doesn't have to be round. Roll your coils out. If you don't do this, 
and you build this beautiful, elaborate coil vase, when it gets dry, it will come apart in little rings. So it's really better to go ahead and scratch it up and get it wet. Pieces and kind of put them together in such a way that it creates a pattern. So I'm going to put a Cheerio here, a couple of little Bali things right here. You can cut out shapes that you can attach to them. So there's lizards and flowers and hearts and all kinds of stuff down in here. Stretch the clay out like this. You have to roll it with the rolling pin to press it back together again. So that just about does it for us from Ava Wine's pottery class. We're still awaiting the girls' finished products, but as soon as we get them, we'll either post it on the community page or we may do even more content from Ava Wine Pottery in the future. But the girls had a great time making their creations. And remember, when you're on vacation, you can book one of these classes during your stay. We love being able to feature locally and family-owned businesses. And with the help of the Arts and Crafts Board here in Gatlinburg, we'll be bringing you even more of this type of content in the future. Bye! Thanks, guys! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you made it this far, like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay, too. Wow.